When you, uh, when you graduate 894th in a class of 899, eventually it'll show up. And John McCain's mediocre performance at the Naval Academy is showing up big time this week in his total lack of understanding of the nation's financial crisis. He told us he didn't know much about the economy. Now he's proving it. So much so that the Wall Street Journal, perhaps America's leading financial publication, is blasting McCain in an editorial. The editorial board sees uh, as inaccurate and, quote, unpresidential comments that McCain has made about the crisis in America's financial system. If you're a Republican running for President of the United States and the Wall Street Journal basically characterizes you as an incompetent buffoon, you're in serious trouble. Specifically, the journal pointed to comments McCain made yesterday about SEC Chair Christopher Cox. McCain pointed the finger of blame at Cox, said if he were president, quote, he'd fire him for betraying the public's trust. The Wall Street Journal called that assault, quote, both false and deeply unfair. The journal also said, quoting again, in a crisis, voters want steady, calm leadership, not easy, misleading answers that will do nothing to help. Unquote. Here's the question. What does it mean when the Wall Street Journal slams John McCain on the economy? Go to CNN.com slash Cafferty file. You can post a comment on my blog. It's probably worth noting the Wall Street Journal is owned by Rupert Murdoch, who has been a longtime Republican supporter in almost all of the media outlets he controls. So this is particularly, I think, significant. Yeah, that's true. To, uh, but it's also true that that editorial page for a long time has really been a strong bastion of conservative economic thought. And you're absolutely right. For them to blast McCain as they did today, that's pretty significant, Jack. I think it is. Yep. Thanks very much, uh, Jack Cafferty. We'll be back.